Okay, so I thought I would do a quick toolbox tour of uh, uh, what's in my bag of my me, me daily day-to-day -day bag. I'm an electrical engineer by trade. I work in the medical industry. I fix x-ray equipment. I'll pop up a couple of photos of the machines I fix. Do a lot, quite a lot of installations which I've got a couple of other little toolbox, well, big toolboxes in the back of the car. But this is the the day-to-day -day box. So yeah, we'll have a, a quick look around it. Um, the box itself is a Facom open tote, but it's one of the rolling totes. So on the back you've got the trolley, which is pretty pretty handy for working in hospitals all the time. We've also got the strap, which comes in again pretty handy. So yeah, I think we'll. We'll have a look around it. So front, we just got a zip there. That's just a, a notebook. That's the the Bible. That's got everything in. Basically, how to do the job. A few rolls of tape. A couple of little uh, pockets here. There's just some some micro USB cables there, just for me phones. Um, a little tub with. Some just proprietary connectors, uh, some little test jigs, some screws, and some pennies. Anybody who's worked on X-ray equipment will know exactly what the pennies are for. Uh, in that pocket as well, there's a little bottle of bottle of Optrex. Looks like a dry eyes. In the next pocket, there's a, a serial to USB uh, interface, which it's kind of just the diagnostic lead for the machines I work on. Everything's on the serial protocol, so yeah, it's just a, a diagnostic lead. Yeah, so that's the, the front pockets. Um, this side pocket here, there is a meter, a Fluke 115, which I'd say that's pretty, pretty decent. I do like using fluke meters. It's got the fluke um, twist probes, which I I quite like those. I've used those same probes for a good few years. Um, there's just a little bag there with screws and fixings in. Um, some microfiber tape, which comes in handy, especially in hospitals. There's just a that's actually a Father's Day card off my son. I always like to carry things like that in me. It's me work bag. But yeah, so in the actual bag itself, we'll go from we'll go around in a circle. That's a, a cable I've actually just changed today. Um, just dropped a, a pack of blades. There's a laptop charger for my laptop, which I keep there. The laptop I use day in day out is a, a HP Elite Book, which is nice, nice and lightweight, so it's pretty decent. Yeah, so inside the actual box, um, I've got a Bosch laser level, which I'll be, be lost without in terms of alignment and calibrations. Comes in handy. That's got a, a little base for the, the laser as well. Um, that's a, a genuine Louis Vuitton bag. Well, I'll, I'll pinch off my messes. I'll just use as a as a pencil case. Um, there's a bottle of isopropyl. Um, for alcohol cleaner. That's a fucking noise. Um, some Tesco value honey lozenges. Um, a little air duster. And some anti static spray. Which again comes in handy for giving the machines a bit of a wipe down. There's another bag just full of screws and bits and pieces. Um, so we'll start with the tools that are in here. First up 
is a set of Weera uh, screwdrivers, which they're the micro screwdrivers, I mean, being honest, only I really use those two flat, uh, term, uh, those two flat terminal screwdrivers and that, that uh, Phillips screwdriver there. All the Torx ones I don't really use. That's a nice little carry case for them. There's a set of Stanley low grips, which I think they've they've had a fair fair bit of use. Yeah. Two uh, terminal drivers. There's a Wii O one there and a, a Wii O one there. Uh, I prefer the Wii O stuff. I've used the Wii O Wii tools since I was an apprentice. Uh, you'll see as I go through it. A lot of the stuff I use day in day out is Weera. Um, we've got a little set of micro spanners, a uh, little small spanners. So they go from four mil up to I think eleven mil. They're about six quid from RX Components. Again, I've had that. I've had that same set of spanners since I was sixteen. Um, you know, we've just got a Stanley knife. Uh, anti-static strap, which is essential when you're changing PCBs over. Um, there's a Weera um, kind of flat screwdriver, which I think that's more used for prodding than undoing screws. In that pocket, there's a just a a rule, which again. Doesn't, doesn't, I don't think that gets used too much, but when you do need it, it's pretty useful. Um, adjustable, uh, not fuck out. Just a little adjustable. And Gary Neville, from Spirit Level. Um, I think that's a Bean Q own make one, but it's got the magnetic base on it, which is pretty nice. It works. Use that quite a lot. That's a proprietary tool for um, putting Ziploc tubing on. It's a fucking nightmare to put the Ziploc tubing on, but it, the tool makes the job a lot easier. And paintbrush. And it's not an engineer's toolbox without a paintbrush. A little pot tweaker. Um, I think that was a one from RX Components, but in cheapest chips. Two. We are nut spinners, that's a, a 7mm, that's a 55 mil. Um, a lot of the screws we've got at work are Phillips heads with either a 7mm hex head on them as well or a 55 mil hex head. So they come in very, very handy when someone's been in before you know, rounded the top of the screw off. Um, there's a set of Nipex, Nipex pliers. Again, yeah, I've had them quite a few, yeah. They're uh, pretty decent. Um, in this little pocket here, there's a, a steel, uh, two steel rules actually. There's a little engineer's rule, the 30 centimeter steel rule. A pair of tweezers, a little needle file, and a little pair of scissors. A Stanley tape measure. Again, that's worth its weight in gold. We've got a pair of locking uh, scissors and hemostats. They're worth the weight in gold when you're trying to thread a thread a screw through a, a series of little holes or something like that. Or get a wire into a, a terminal on the back of something. They're pretty useful. Um, there's a set of cheapish needle nose um, pliers. They've, they get used pretty often to be honest. Um, I think these are my go-to my go-to pliers. That's a pair of Nipex, Nipex pliers. Again, I've had those since I was 16, so over 10 years. I think I've lost those on a site once. I was I was heartbroken, but I managed to find them the next time I was on site. Uh, they're pretty pretty nice. Set of side cutters, nice 
electronic side cutters. I think these are RX Pro ones here. Yeah. They're actually anti-static ones as well. But yeah, they're, they're mainly used for just cutting cable ties to be honest. Next up is a set of uh, Weera Allen keys. The, the coloured ones with the sleeve on. Now the problem I found was the Allen keys themselves had sleeving all the way down to the ends and if you've got blind holes that you want to go into or something like that where you can't where you need to get down into them pretty easily or pretty deep these are no good so I've added on the, the sizes that I usually use to say 5, 4, 3, 2 I occasionally use a 1.5 um, I've had to chop all the sleeving back on them but I mean 5mm the sleeving's actually stuck inside the bloody holder so that hasn't got any sleeving on so I think I'm due a, due a new set of those at some point soon and then we've got this kind of go to screwdriver set again it's a Weira set uh, it's got everything from Posi, Phillips, Torx, uh, Allen, Hex comes with come as standard with just that handle a series of bits. I've added the the little ratchet, um, a nice little fine tooth ratchet. I think that the ratchet itself is actually from Costco. That complements the set quite nicely, to be honest. And it's also got just a bit adapter with um, just a, a regular little uh, Phillips bit. There's also a full box of and Philip bits in there, Philip bits, PH2 ones in there. Let's say you break the end of them, you just stick a new a new bit in it. But yeah, so that's me my go-to set. The only issues I've had with them is the three and the four millimeter hex ones have snapped. So I've heard rumours around there that you can get uh we are stuff replaced under under warranty. But well, We'll see. We'll see about that. I wouldn't mind getting them replaced. Um, in the back, there's a Japanese karaoke screwdriver. It looks like a microphone. Um, I looked all over Japan when I've worked in Japan for one of these. I kind of find them. Kind of find them anywhere. There's actually one of my colleagues when I was saying that I couldn't find one. Gave us his like a spare one he had. Um, but they fit. Japanese screws perfectly. You can actually stick the, the screwdriver into the screw and the, the screwdriver will balance, which is it's a nice fit. A, a sloppy fit on screws means you're just going to round, round them off. That's just a pair of Nipex uh, water pump pliers. Um, again, they're more used for fucking smashing nuts to pieces or damaging nuts. So that the, the next lad can't fix them. Um, what else we got in here? There's a just a CD CD wallet with all the all the bits of software. There's a another CD. That's actually a Cronus software of creating images of feces. Um, we've got another roll of tape. Another pack of blades. There's a little Weira. Um, little stubby screwdriver, a, a flathead one, which is ideal for undoing uh, trunking on walls. Um, there's a little a little pouch there with a load of lanyards in, but there's two USB hard drives in there. That's a Seagate one. That's a one terabyte hard drive. Um, and there's also an iStorage on there, which is actually an encrypted hard drive with a, a password on it, which that's pretty clever. And I think last of all in here, really, um, a couple of bits of st bloody string. Can't even remember what they're for. Okay, the last up is a tub of Bondoof's screw grip. Um, it's just iron filings in a tub, but it's actually pretty good. Um, it's designed if a ham-fisted bastard's been there before you, 
rounded all the screws off, knocked all the heads. You can stick that in the head, and a decent screwdriver will get it. Will get the screw out. Next up, I think it's the last, the last tool apart from that pocket. It's a set of Japanese. I think these are. Um, I can't remember the name of these these pliers now. Who makes them? But what they are is just a regular set of pliers. So you've got a a cutting edge there, kind of a grippy edge there. On the end of them, there's a serrated edge on them as well, which means if someone has rounded a screw off and there's no chance of getting it out, you can grab a hold of the, the head of the screw and twist it out. Which I looked all over Japan for a set of these, managed to find them in a little market stall, and paid about paid about a tenner for them. But the they have saved my bacon a few times. Last little pocket. That's a USB um, CD drive. The laptop I use hasn't got a CD drive on it, so I just use a USB one. It's quite rare I actually use CDs nowadays. To be honest, it's nice to have backup CDs in the in the bag, but it is quite rare that I actually ever use them. But we use just ISO images of everything and a, a wireless keyboard, which that's ideal for. Um, fixing mobile x-ray machines with which don't have keyboards or anything like that it gets pretty boring trying to pull logs and um, upgrade software without a decent keyboard and mouse the only problem with these Logitech ones is in about two years I've had six of these uh, that don't last very long at all not in a in kind of a work setting so yeah Pretty decent, I imagine if you were using these at home, just in the living room or something like that, it'll be pretty decent for when they get, get bounced in the back of a car every day. It's a bit of a pain. But yeah, that's it. That's what I carry day to day in the car, um, on site. That's, that's what I make me living with. So yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching.